Milwaukee's annual Labor Day celebration is just wrapping up in Meyer Festival Park. Fox 6's Brett Lemoyne live there with the reason union leaders say unions are making a comeback. Yeah, they point to recent polls that show more Americans support unions now than they did in the past few generations. Even so, one labor supporter told me today he was a little bit concerned about the thin crowds at Labor Fest. It's a reminder of what was. I come down here and I see it shrinking every year. For retired union worker Jeff Latinovich. I think that the prevalence of corporate greed is uh, uh, filtering down. Even so, Milwaukee's annual Labor Fest still draws a crowd. The president of Milwaukee Labor Council insists demands for union jobs <laughs> have not cooled. We're calling the summer hot strike summer. Uh, because there are so many um, collective actions that are going on that are really getting the goods. The Teamsters uh, with UPS just got a record contract. A recent Gallup poll finds Americans approve of unions now more than they have since 1965. The fight for better pay, hours, and jobs. I'm actually running as a Republican. And pushed Briggs and Stratton union worker Travis Clark into politics. We need to create U.S. jobs and make sure those U.S. jobs stay in America. You know, so this is the foundation. <laughs> Milwaukee Labor Council says they represent 24,000 workers in the metro area. Many of those labor groups took their message to the street this holiday. In the gazebo this morning in the park, we have um, coffee by the Colectivo Collective, um, a group of workers at Colectivo Coffee that formed a union. So it's not just, we think of the trades or manufacturing as the bastion of organized labor, and certainly that's still true. However, any workplace where people work together, whether it's a museum or a hospital, can uh, band together for better conditions. And union leaders also point to several high-profile strikes that we mentioned earlier in this newscast, namely uh, the writer and actor strikes in Hollywood as events that are pushing unions back into the national conversation. Those writers have been on strike since May. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Brett Lemoyne, Fox 6 News. Brett, this may be unfair to put you in the spot, but I'm going to ask anyway. You've covered this particular rally for many, many years, including during two different presidential visits. Is the enthusiasm as high as it's been other years? And of course, you have to figure in the two different presidents have visited during that time, and it's a very hot day. Can you feel the enthusiasm still? I think you still can, Ted, and a lot of people that we talked to said that it's still important to pay your union dues and to support unions, um, and they're hopeful that unions will continue to bounce back. But, uh, yeah, it's a little apples and oranges when you compare this year's crowd to, say, uh, when Barack Obama came and spoke. Um, but certainly uh, there seems to be a, a pretty high um, enthusiasm here today. Brett Lemoyne reporting live for us tonight. Thank you.